Hey guys, welcome to the Weekend Extra. Josh here with Pastor Joe, yep. Mobilization and Give It Away, and uh, really excited to talk about here Habits and Heartbeats and um, evangelism. And I know, Joe, that's a, a really big passion of yours, yep. which you pretty much do day in and day out and mm-hmm. dream for our church. And so just even as we're kind of here on the early part of the series, I would love it, Joe, if you could tell us a little bit about um, what's kind of behind the series and how it kind of connects into the life of our church and why you're um, excited that we're talking about this yeah. stuff. So I think, um, you know, as we've been looking at the last really couple months here at the Bath Campus, it's been, we've talked a lot about like the vision of why we do what we do. We did the We series, like here's who we are. Here's what's so important to us. Here's what we value. And then obviously we led that right into All In, All Out, which um, maybe you heard of it if you were around. <laughs> yep. It was kind of a big deal in so many ways. And really, the, of course, the whole heartbeat behind that is to be able to reach our community. Uh, we want to be able to do the sports thing for the community. We want to be able to do the opioid thing for the community. We even want to raise up new leaders to have leaders amongst our community helping people understand who the gospel is. But all of that is really the foundation of helping the church be the church. It's helping people be the people that are there to actually go out and engage their neighbor, engage their kid's teacher, to be with their classmates, to um, to to be the person that responds appropriately on the road or the grocery store or whatever, but really to live out the gospel in real time. And it takes the intentionality that we talked about tonight in the message. Like you can't, you can't just drive down the road and not flip out at a bad driver and go, boy, I really hope that person meets Jesus tonight (laughs) and not in the sarcastic way. Um, (laughs) But like you really want, you might want that, but just you not, giving them any unkind gestures or whatever isn't going to be what, wow, I wonder if that person knows Jesus. Yeah, like, it's a lot We more. really have to kind of be intentional. But as we talked about in the message, it can't just be, you know, like, hey, like, I see you get two dozen eggs there. Does that mean you want to know Jesus? Like, you just can't <laughs> overwork or overforce the conversation and expect to have a real yeah. one. But um, actually, our cameraman right now, Kyle, is wearing a T-shirt that says, like, an ordinary life does not interest me. And I think that's kind of the mentality that we're looking for. It's like I'm – I remember meeting a guy um, – I want to call him Joe just because it's not his name. But I remember meeting a guy at the grocery store that every time I went there, I saw Joe. And I, I would talk to him and we'd, we'd talk about the calves or we'd talk about something and we'd high-five. And, like, we actually got – like a pseudo friendship going on. And then he got transferred to different, different grocery store or whatever. <laughs> but like he found out that I worked at the church. We talked yeah. a little bit about that in brief grocery store length conversations. But even that level of intentionality starts to change the game a little bit because, mm-hmm. wow, this guy, like he remembers my name. He sees me every time I'm here. He says, hi, we talk about real things. Like, and I think if he wouldn't have got transferred, that we weren't far away from like, let's go to a, you know, some like B-dubs and watch the game some night or something like that, where you just actually start a friendship. And that's what you want, right? So when we take the vision of the church, take all in all out for the purposes of reaching our community. Now we're in this phase of like, how can we as a church really be the church? And that's where the ironic heartbeat for this series came from is how can we encouragingly equip each other to actually go out and share the story of what Christ has done for us. And so we're excited to see that play out. And so this is like ground level. This is, this is going to be what, you know, the next three years and all these new endeavors um, Absolutely. is going to fuel it. Mm-hmm. And so even you were starting to talk about this, Joe, like uh, third spaces or these mm-hmm. these opportunities that we have kind of in the context we're already in. Mm-hmm. Um, and how do we begin to recognize what's already in front of us, especially when we're talking about the harvest and we're like, man, I don't want to I don't want to miss out and, you know, just like let the fruit rot. Mm-hmm. I, I want to begin to to see the harvest where it's at and what God has right in front of me. Um, what's kind of like, um, how do we get started with that? <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, for a lot of us, it's probably looking at the environments we're already in. You know, so if we're already a part of a mom's group or a, um, a coach in our kids softball team or a study group on campus or whatever it is and say, are there just ways to start being a little bit more intentional in those places? Are there ways they can be praying about those spaces that maybe I can start something out of it? Or if you're in a study group on campus, like you could even say like, you know, one of the other things I've been, I've been kind of dumbfounded that I've been like reading part of the Bible and it's rocking my world. Mm -hmm. Like, do you guys want to like get together and look at this stuff with me? That's it. Right. I mean, it doesn't have to be this, let me teach you revelation or like something a little bit crazy, but just starting the conversation. And if they all say no, 
No, that means, like we talked about tonight, that they're, they're just at the moment not persons of peace. And so you're looking for those no-brainer moments. So some of it, where are you currently working? It's it's redeeming dinner times at home. It's redeeming lunch breaks at work. It's redeeming that free time in the morning maybe. Um, or maybe it's just whatever environment you're already in, just being intentional in them. But then there's the other side of the challenge where, like, God might be challenging you to get into a different place to be salt yeah. and light. Um some of us, if we're just being frank, like probably spend too much time watching Netflix or we spend too much time like getting a high score on a certain game or we spend too much time doing stuff that has no kingdom impact. And I'm, believe me, I I finally actually just saw Spider-Man uh, in the Spider-Verse. Like I love movies. I love doing that kind of stuff. But like it, there comes a, a price tag with how our hobbies get in the way of what God's calling us to do. And so... Maybe you've been feeling a nudge to get involved in a certain hobby. Well, do it publicly and get involved with people or take something that you already love to do and do it with other people. Start a movie group. I like to go see movies. So get a couple of buddies and go do it with them. Grab a bite after. Like do the things that you already love to do, um, which is a whole different topic, but that's a part of actually what your yeah. shape is, right? Like who you've been created to be and redeem it and start to uh, figure out a way to invite your three to be a part of it or invite people that are already a part of that circle to be a part of it and then be praying for how to be intentional with them as you get involved. And that's huge. And and that's why I think I'd encourage you guys as well. Like uh, prayer is um, a, a lot of what I think comes with this because a lot of times I feel like I don't know and and I, I, I don't know what's next mm-hmm. and, or um, if, if things are actually progressing in a way that's helpful. And so I just encourage you guys, yeah, take take all that and continue to pray about it. And uh, I think you'll see God do awesome things. I know yeah. I've seen it. I was talking with someone just tonight after service where, like, they're looking for ways to share their whole story, which is great. And sometimes when we get – she actually just had one of those opportunities, so it's amazing. But in the meantime, you're you're learning from other people. What are their experiences? What are yeah. their hurts? What are their needs? What is their sin? What is – and then you're looking for ways to meet them where they are we're not connecting with these people so that we can one day share with them a presentation of the gospel. Yeah. We're getting to know these people so that we can love them where they're at and show them how the gospel, how the story of Jesus intersects with their life and can radically change it. Yep. Well, thanks, Pastor Joe, and thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you next time on The Weekend Extra. See you later.